Coming up on Louisiana Focus, one of the largest criminal industries in our nation has made a home here in Acadiana. We'll have a story about the fight to stop it. An exciting new sport is coming to UL, but not the kind that uses a ball or a net. Plus, college students are deciding which way to go in their college career. These stories and more are up next on Louisiana Focus. Over 680 cases of human trafficking were reported in the state of Louisiana last year, up more than 50% than the year before. But one woman is passionate about what parents must do to keep their kids out of the hands of predators. Zizi Thomas says she has the formula for prevention. So what is human trafficking? Human trafficking, also known as modern day slavery, is the second largest criminal industry following behind drug dealing. Human trafficking earns over $150 billion a year, and $99 billion of those dollars comes from sexual exploitation. Over 500 cases of human trafficking has been reported in the state of Louisiana. Because of I-10 and I-49, human trafficking is not a stranger to the Lafayette area, and more than half of these cases involve runaway minors. They're more susceptible. So when we talk about high-risk population, we also talk about that runaway community. 70, per, 70 to 90 percent of child victims will be re-victimized. Teresa Lede is a sexual assault response team coordinator at Hearts of Hope in Lafayette, Louisiana. Lede's passion to end human trafficking has led her to educate people on how to identify human trafficking victims. I'm Zandria Thomas for Louisiana Focus. The Raging Cajuns love to compete with other colleges. Austin Merlos reports video gamers will soon test their mettle on the battlefield of esports. Video games are known as a form of fun entertainment, but who knew that a professional subculture would emerge from it? Esports are organized competitions using video games where players compete to win prizes and recognition. Joshua Gardner is a UL student that is part of a startup organization to bring esports to UL. The future of UL esports is kind of this uncharted waters. We would be one of the first, it, we're working to be some, one of the first, you know, 100 colleges break that number of having an esports program that is funded and worked with with the university. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, I like to play video games with my friends and so. I think it'd be great to be able to do that in a school environment on campus. Other college campuses like LSU have their own esports team. They compete for prizes that can go towards scholarships. Some of the events are, um, they, there's a prize pool. And so some of those events, the prize pool goes to directing money into a scholarship fund kind of towards the competitors. So if you, for, if a team wins, at some of these events, it could be $1,000 per person to go straight to scholarships in school. We see that Yale is opening many doors for side gamers. When we start seeing colleges, recruit students like baseball and football, only time we tell. For Louisiana Focus, I'm Austin Marilos. How do high school students make the right cho career choice before they arrive at UL Lafayette? Blake Nichols says there's one group on campus that is pointing the way to success. UL's annual Engineering and Technology Expo has a lot to offer to college and high school students as they get to interact with faculty and many companies that are looking to hire engineers for their businesses. Here, and I went to Engineering and Technology Day when I was in high school, and that was actually right before I decided to switch my major to engineering. And then I came here for engineering and you know did stuff over here at UL that led me directly into getting this job. So. UL plays a large role in the future of engineering students, giving them an idea of careers available in today's society and allowing them to compete with some of the other elite engineering programs around the country. We participate in events and things all the time in our program that we place pretty well against the top engineering programs around the country. So you know, I think 
that speaks for itself. We strive very hard to teach courses the way that we ex our expectations are met. UL's College of Engineering strives to help students to discover the importance of engineering and technology in today's society and consider the many career possibilities available to them. Reporting for Louisiana Focus, I'm Blake Nichols. Those runway models showing off their spring fashions have a secret to sell, and Tia Suggs knows just what that secret is. Former sensation dancer Val Stevens has reinvented herself into an inspiring fashion designer at the age of 52. It's intriguing because I get to um, meet a lot of interesting people, and I, I get to see um, models that really want to really take their career further, which, you know, I've been there, so I know what it's like, but I did not have someone to grab me by the hand and always have actually things for me to do. After her relationship with Ricky Jackson, she focused more on her modeling career, which kicked off her Sports Diva clothing line. Sports Diva is a woman that loves sports and a woman that has confidence a woman that can do many things. Fashion blogger Nikki Bird admired the way that sports diva showed off on the runway. Um, I just love how her brand accentuated the female form. I love how sassy the girls were. I love how confident they were. I love how they walked. They walked like they owned the world. Val Stevens also has her own day fashion show on September 22nd, 2018 at the Four Columns. For Louisiana Focus, I'm Tia Suggs. That's all the time we have for Louisiana Focus. Our producer is Troy Prashear. And our director is Jasmine Tillery. Our faculty advisor is Dr. Bill Davey. I'm Asa Grimsley. And I'm Alta Marilos. We'll see you next week on Louisiana Focus.